Hello Gemini, welcome to our timeless tarot nightcap. So I invite you to end the day with a tarot reading. Um, this is a general reading, so just take what resonates with you. It is also a timeless reading, so anytime you find yourself watching this video, that is the right time for you. Now we will try to start with the main energy. For our main energy for tonight, we have... Wow, you receive a gift from the Divine. We have the eight Ace of Pentacles. It is something that you need to work on and you need to be patient with. You see here, it's like a seedling. It's like a, a bean sprout, okay, where the roots are already coming out. So it is something that you need to... Uh, it is something that is that has life in it okay so whatever this gift is it can be related to prosperity can be related to success in career can be related to success in studies okay now whatever this thing is uh, it's something that you need to gently nurture uh, it has life in it if you take good care of it at it at the beginning at the starting process right now that you have received it if you take good care of it it's like a fire when you start a fire you take good care of it so you're going to need to put some attention in it but once the fire is get once once you get the fire going it comes alive on its own so in a certain sense somehow this is what i can feel right now whatever this gift is that the universe is giving you in the beginning stages you will have to exert some effort to care for this little project maybe you need to protect it you have to discern not to show it to everybody it is something that you need to discern uh, to protect uh, maybe keep secret also from other people uh, once it starts to grow then you can slowly let it evolve on itself but it's going to take some time okay so that's the thing that we can feel right now with regards to your main energy now let us try to see what we have here so we have here the temperance and then the page of swords and then it's the king of swords and finally we have here the knight of swords okay so uh there are three swords and one temperance temperance means attaining a certain middle road a certain balance so it's like this one also uh it, it's like making a fire again uh, one good example is taking care of a fire when you're going to create a fire there should be equal uh, treatment in the fuel in the heat and also in the air the air uh, you should give space for air to enter into the fire so there is, need, there is a need for a certain balance so at the same time here also in this new project there is a need for you to have a certain balance you need time to nurture it but at the same time you need time to rest uh, you need to take the middle road so you have to take moderation and gentleness i feel whatever this gift is you need to be very gentle with it and when you need to be very gentle you need to avoid going to extremes so it's the same also if it is a relationship you need to take the middle road you give the other person freedom at the same time you make the other person feel that they are loved so they can easily come and go but at the same time they come back because they know that when they are with you they feel cherished so it's the same also with the project you need to give it some time to work on it you need to give it attention but at the same time you need to let it go also to allow it also to unfold itself so in a certain sense you need to uh, whatever situation you are in whatever gift you have received from the divine you need to 
handle it with gentleness and moderation. Now you will need to study hard. So for some of you, this gift that you have received from the universe is something new. And because it is something new, you will have to study. So you see here, the person is studying and the knowledge that they develop, which can be symbolized by this uh, these balloons no, that are like the lights no uh, it's the one that keeps you afloat afloat and allows you to have a certain balance so here we have here the page of swords she is walking on a sword so she is moving forward based on the knowledge that she is learning as she studies about this new inspiration so whatever this new inspiration is, it will require you to study and what you study will be the path towards the fulfillment of your inspiration or your dream. It, it is also that the knowledge and the insights that you gain, which can be symbolized by the light bulbs that keeps you afloat, are the ones that will help you have a lighter journey. It will lighten your journey. And somehow, maybe the new insights, the, the joy of learning will make your journey, journey also light and a little bit, uh, yeah, exciting. You see here, she can tiptoe, so she has to tiptoe against it. So uh, it's like, yeah, learning to, learning, it's really learning how to walk on the swords. It's like learning how to use the knowledge learning how to use the knowledge that you are slowly attaining. Now, we have here the King of Swords. This can symbolize somebody who is knowledgeable and could be a mentor that will help you in this new inspiration that you are receiving from the universe. Now, this mentor is very much in touch with nature. He has owls and bats and birds around him. So he seemed to have an affinity with spirit animals. Uh, you also have, you are also being guided by your spirit guides here. You see here two birds that are guiding you. So in a certain sense, you are learning to listen to the guiding hand of the universe from this person who is already intuitive, somebody who is already knowledgeable. So he is imparting the richness of his wisdom with his encounter with the inner world and you are learning how it is to also be in touch with the inner world so it can be a spirit guide it can be a spiritual mentor or a guru somebody who is more knowledgeable so for some of you you will encounter somebody who will guide you along the way he's the king of swords and you are the page of swords you are the student he is the master so he's going to teach you. Now we have here the Knight of Swords. So when you look at it, I feel this is your energy. Once you attain a certain degree of mastery of the knowledge that you are learning right now, then you will be able to rush towards your dream faster. And again, you will be needing your spirit guides, your intuition. You need. You will be needing the... There is a necessity for you to use your intuition in order for you to be able to run towards your dream this one is like racing against racing with the wind racing with the wind towards your dream so it's rushing forth so once you have mastered the knowledge then you will be able to rush forth towards your dream now let us try to see how it will further unfold so we have here the Seven of Wands, the King of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. You have all the three kings, okay? <laughs> three kings, okay? Remember that nativity, where in usually they would, uh, the wise men are usually symbolized as three kings. So, yeah, these are magis who gave a gift to the child in Bethlehem, uh, the child Jesus in Bethlehem. So, when you look at it, the three kings are wise men. So it can be that you will have not just one mentor, but several mentors. I feel there are four 
mentors. It makes me feel that there are three male mentors and there is one female mentor. Okay, this is what I can feel. You see here, this one is more of, this one is more of the intellectual type. Okay, maybe this is the one who's going to teach you theories. Okay, the theory, this one is more of the intuitive part. I think this one will teach you how to care for your body, will teach you how to develop your intuition. This will teach you how to maintain health as you move forward towards your dream. You see here she has a lot of students, so she is also a mentor. So the female one has a very strong intuition. Even the male one, this professor who is very intellectual, has a lot of intuition. So this person he can use his intellectual knowledge by uh, he, he can combine his intellectual knowledge to his in intuitive experiences also so he is intuitive but at the same time intelligent this one is very much in touch with her health i think very much in touch with energies with nature so you have a from here i can see three mentors right ah four mentors the other mentor is someone who is the king of wands now this mentor if this one is intellectual if this one is spiritual this one is down to earth somebody who is practical somebody who will teach you how to remain grounded so I don't know if these mentors are all in the physical realm or in the spiritual realm, but these are very good professors right now because they are very equal when you put them all together. Uh, this one will teach you the theory, the intellect. This will teach you the experience. This will teach you how to implement them in the reality. So this is ground to earth. This is practical. This is hands-on experiential and this one will teach you strength and courage this will give you the strength and the courage this will teach you how to survive also it's like a survivalist finally we have here i think this is the the main man uh, this is the the oldest and wiser wisest among the four so when you look at it this one is the wisest one this one has a lot of knowledge. I think this one is very much spiritual. I don't know why that. I think this one can access the Akashic records. He can access the wisdom of the universe. Wisdom of time. This one can access the knowledge of the library of the universe. This is what I can feel right now. This one is the most, I think, the highest, the one with the highest spiritual knowledge. Now, as I said earlier, they can be spiritual mentors or they can be in the physical realm. So you try to see how it resonates with you. Right now, this gift that the universe is giving you, this can be the beginning of your transformation and spiritual growth. Uh, for some of you, you have a special mission to accomplish right now. You have a special mission to, con to accomplish for the universe and for mankind. And you are being given, I feel, the best teachers that you are going to need. And all of them are experts in their own field. I feel this one is... He, this one can teach you how to retrieve knowledge not from books knowledge that is in the inner realm something to do with that knowledge of the universe so yeah i think it's going to be an a very very successful uh, a very very interesting journey of learning now you see here we have here the Nine of Swords, and then we have here the Three of Swords. 
when you look the two at the two cards they show sorrow they show pain they show a scar in the heart i feel that as you evolved under the guidance of these four mentors in your life you will come to a point when you will have to address your past wounds right now my what i feel right now is that your past wounds is not only your past wound in this lifetime but i feel also the wound of your ancestry your family yes the family issues uh, the issues of your ancestry and also your the wounds of your past lives also so the healing will not be only in this lifetime but you will be healing also the generations before you and also your past lives that's why maybe that's the reason why you're going to have a lot of mentors right now because you will have to address certain issues that will need healing i think the healing is not only for you but also for your for your ancestry family now this is going to be a long journey the final card shows that it's going to be a long journey and you will have to really exert effort in going in starting in your journey you see you will be you will have to learn a lot of things along the way this i feel that these things that she is carrying as she tra travels these are the knowledge that you will be attaining as you move forward towards this journey of learning this journey of allowing this gift to grow uh, it will require for you some of you to really physically travel maybe travel to a place in order to meet maybe some of these mentors that you will encounter sooner or later depending on your readiness to meet them because they say when you are ready the teacher will arrive so it will be a journey for some of you it can be a physical journey you might be traveling to places and maybe in one of those travels or in some of those travels you will encounter your mentors you will know when a mentor comes into your life there will be a certain synchronicity and your intuition will give you signs that will allow you to realize that this person has something to teach you so just allow the allow your intuition to guide you almost all the pictures here has a lot of birds so there is something about birds that uh, very that is very significant in your spiritual journey so yeah you might encounter a lot of birds uh, almost every day maybe even bird feathers that will assure you that your spirit guides are with you right now i'm having some tingling sensations now i don't know if some of you are having tingling sensations right now if you are having that tingling sensations it means that you are resonating with this reading and there is something in these cards that is for you right now i feel tingling sensations so some of some of you right now who is watching this video are resonating to these cards okay we will end the reading with some oracle cards very interesting gemini uh, okay for the oracle cards we have connection you are very connected to the heavenly realms it's true because some of your mentors here the four mentors i only saw here four but there could be somebody some things more no uh, there could be more but right now what is being shown to us are four now you are very much connected with the universe because yeah the universe is sending you teachers 
it can be in the physical realm or in the spiritual realm your spirit guides are accompanying you right now so right now you truly are not alone mentor you see okay so we have your mentor you are about to meet a person of high integrity who will guide you in the right direction okay so even the oracle cards are saying that there will be mentors coming your way you are connected and you will know because somehow you will feel a connection to these people so for some of you mentors are coming your way not just one but several of them now natural born leader you were born to lead others it is a part of your life's paths i think yes ah, because we become like who our mentors are and when you look at these mentors these people are leading like this feminine mentor she has a lot of disciples here you see that are symbolized by the ones the seven ones no this one this guru also i think uh this one is ruling in the ju in, in 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 the desert where there are i think it's in, there's something about the african continent for some of you maybe this traveling can be some of you might be traveling to the african continent i don't know which country but there's something about the african continent that is very important right now you are being you are being mentored to become a leader it can be a spiritual leader it can be a leader to a new way of thinking about life you can be a spiritual teacher, a life worker, maybe even a worker for the good of humanity. So you might be leading certain groups for humanitarian services. So you are a natural born leader. So this is a very good calling. You have a special calling to accomplish in this lifetime. Now let us try to get a final card which is trust and forgiveness it is time for you to let down your guard and learn to trust again so really part of your journey will be healing of past wounds for some of you learning to forgive relationships that have hurt you in the past so trust and forgiveness you will have to learn to trust the universe to guide you so that you will be able to forgive and that you will be able to move forward in your life so this is a very beautiful and interesting reading for you gemini i hope it resonates with you and i feel it did to some of you for some of you you even have some tingling sensations even here in the green uh, fluorite i could see birds there's something about birds you might be seeing birds even in your dreams and even in your physical realm you will be visited by different varieties of birds you try to see which kind of birds are commonly visiting you right now and you try to see what are the descriptions of these when they are spirit animals they might teach you certain or give you certain messages by just trying to see which kind of birds are visiting you right now I feel some of you will become more intuitive in the near future. So this is what we have for you right now, Gemini. I hope that it has helped you in your present situation. Thank you for the likes and comments you've given to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. I hope to see you again soon. Until that time, may God continue to bless your ways.